What we're going to learn about today, we're going to learn about viscosity and drag. And we're going to learn about really small animals that use that to kind of stay put, and some also use it to move. So do you guys know, what's, what's an animal that's really, really tiny that you think might use viscosity? A plankton. A plankton, that's right. Can you guys think of anything smaller than a plankton? I want you guys to think in terms of really small things like germs. Germs or bacteria. Sometimes those things can be really small and live in fluids. one of these little metal rings, okay? So your microorganism has to have two washers in it as a minimum, okay? That's the minimum weight that we can give you, okay? If you want to use more, you can. And Play-Doh. And really, whatever else we have. If you guys want to get creative and put, uh, you know, parts of paper towels in it, or, you know, anything you can think of, you can. Here's my little microorganism. All right, so I've got a couple cilia. I'd probably want to put more if I wanted it to, to sink faster, or to sink slower, and a little bit of straw just to kind of make it look a little cooler. So, uh, the water is a less viscous fluid, so our little microorganisms are going to drop faster. One, two, okay, so maybe less than a second, okay? And the corn syrup, which is more viscous, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to drop slower, and we're actually going to time it, and we're going to see how much slower it gets. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Ready, set, go. Yeah, it's falling. It's 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 36, 37, 38, 39, 